All right, guys, today's game, uh, it's month two, um, and my fitness, you know, this fitness instructor job is really paying off and really, you know, really uh, staying fit, staying healthy is, is good for me. And so uh, today, in month two, we got a couple things that have happened. So we're going to change the game just a little bit. So if we go back to month one, we can see that, you know, we we have our gross pay here. We've got our net pay here, and we've we've made all of our decisions and our, our opportunity costs. And we in the end of the month, I had three hundred and eighty four dollars and eighty seven cents left over. My expenses did not go over how much I made, and so um, I didn't go negative, which is good. We want to stay in the positive as much as possible. Now, some things that happen in month uh, one that we're going to talk about now is that investment. Investment um, can be a savings account we talked about yesterday. Uh, it can be a CD, it can be a mutual fund, it can be a stock fund, um, it can be a bond of some sort. But sometimes gains happen. And so what happened in month one is we gained 2%. So say this was a, a savings account, we gained 2%. So I'm going to have to take 100 times 2%, and that means that I gained in one month without having to do a lick a whopping two dollars. So in actuality, I have a hundred and two dollars. Now in real life, we would carry this over to month two and say, you know, maybe we put another hundred dollars in, and so I have two hundred and two dollars here. Now you can do that if you'd like. I'm uh, not going to do that just for math uh, easiness sake, and uh, but in real life, it would carry over. So say we again in month two decide to put a hundred dollars in. Um, awesome. Uh, so there it is. We'll leave it at that. Now, something happens in month two. The economy goes bad. We go into a recession, and that recession is not that bad of a recession, but it's still bad enough. In this recession, you guys are going to lose 5% of your pay. Ouch. People have to lay off. Uh, they're cutting back work, and it's, it's only five percent. You know, it, it doesn't seem like a lot, but if you think about it, that's one twentieth of what you make. You're losing it, and so it's, it, it hurts, um, even if it is small. So we're losing five percent. So we're going to take a number from box one here, from month one, and we're going to we're going to take five percent off of there. Now remember, from uh, month one, whenever we were doing the taxes and taking out the taxes. We did what you kept, and so if we lose 5%, we're keeping 95%. And that way our math is a little bit easier. We can kind of skip a couple steps, and we get 29.47.20, 20 cents. And I'm going to multiply that times 0.95. And that's going to give me the number uh, 27.99.84. Now, if you did it the long way, you can take uh, 2947.2 20 times 0 .05. That means that I lost $143.36. And, and, uh, that's a pretty big chunk. If you go down here at the bottom, my leftover money, that's a good chunk of that money. I mean, I'm still going to have some, some stuff left over, uh, but it's not going to be as much. So now... I have to do my taxes once again. Um, so my taxes, as we remember from yesterday, uh, I believe they were 66% is what I got to keep. So $27.99 um, and 84 cents times 0.66. So I'm keeping 89. $1,847. Man, it sure does look like a lot more uh, whenever you do it that way. But it's, it's pretty much it's the same percentage. Um, you know, it's still a 5% loss. Uh, it's still a lot of money, though. And so if we keep our housing expenses the same, we're going to get 70 or 700 or 75 180 150 250, like the party, I guess. 
And I know my expenses are going to cost the same because that is what we did. So I'm going to take that 1847 minus 1855. Whoops, this went negative. So I'm going to have to go back and change something. I'm going to have to go back and change uh, one of my expenses. So I'm going to have to turn over to the back and see. Uh, my entertainment expenses are pretty, pretty big. They're, they're quite a bit. I know that I can save $150 a month if I cut back on my entertainment expenses. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to cut out $150. So I know I can add 150 here. 5 is 10. So now I'm at 2,000. So I, I know I'm, oh, sorry. I totally did the math wrong there. It's actually, the batting and should probably subtract. I have 1705 uh, instead. So let's go back up here and do the math again. All right, so now I'm, I'm plus $142.89. So even though that 5% didn't look like a lot, it was enough that I had to change the way I was living and so, so that I could. Um, afford it. Now, that's the main part of what happened during month two. We went into this recession, but wait, there's more. Um, investments also aren't going to increase. We had an increase in our investment here. Well, say instead of a savings account, we had it in a mutual fund or a stock fund, and uh, they lost money. Instead of gaining, we, we lost um, and that's what happens quite a bit. And so uh, here we had 102, but this time we're going to lose 8%. Now we saw what 5% can do, but 8% of $100 that we invested $100 during month two, and we lost 8%, that's, we get to only keep 92, right? So we keep 92 times 100, 0.92 times 100, we get $92. And that's easy there. All right, so I've actually lost two dollars. So I'm at a net loss of uh, was it six bucks? So just because we have um, invested money doesn't mean we we don't lose. Now that's the game for month two. Uh, some things are happening, some things are changing, and things don't always stay the same. We're not all that lucky, and so. Be prepared for, for when things change, because they do. Be prepared to change different things. Uh, so there you go.